Fourth positionism is a confusing topic. Essentially, the word is used in two ways. However, this term was originally very nebulous, going far back as 1987 and probably even further back than that. Unfortunately, the details do not seem to be that well documented. Um, originally, this term was used to describe those who rejected the first position, capitalism in all of its forms, the second position, Marxists and anarchists, and the third position, fascists, um, social democrats and the neo-feudal order. By the 1990s, the, both the far left and the far right were using the term fourth positionist. Now, to understand the differences between the two uses of fourth positionism, which contradict each other, we need to talk about the history and the climate in which this term came about. The far left used the term to distinguish themselves from the hypocritical Soviet Union, um, the beginning the Khrushchev era and onwards, post Mao China and anarchists who scared um, fourth positionists by screaming, no gods, no masters. It would of course be democrats in the 2010s who would use the term the most, in fact, as no one else in the far left would touch the term that decade except for democrats. There was a propaganda war between democrats and Duganites over this term throughout the 2010s. The democrats in mass still claim this term, though several feel that to keep this term would be misleading. Now you'll find that no Duganites will admit this, which makes sense because Demarchus consider Duganites a fascist plague on Russia. Demarchus based their theories uh, on figures like NASA, Gaddafi, Dr. Weisfeld, Chris Hedges, and uh, denounced the new atheist and American Christian right, as well as the old Jewish Bund. Essentially, uh, Demarchism is kind of a continuation of the non-alignment movement. And if you want to read more, I would recommend hearing the figures I said before. Um, Demarchism rejects the words communist and communism, although they do consider multipolar Maoists, who call themselves third worldists, to be one breed of communist at their level. Their rejection of anarchism is a lot like their rejection of Marxism. They reject anarchism and consider it to be a historically revisionist theory and even idealist. While this may seem foolish on their end, it does come out of legitimate grievances of how Western Marxists tend to be. Now, obviously, I'm a Maoist and I don't think that we're historically revisionist or idealist, but there are serious grievances which I will bring up later. Um, originally, the Demarchists completely rejected anarchists as crypto-fascist, but as time they grew closer and realised how they'd misunderstood street anarchists, calling them ethical and just. However, as, as Demarchus perceived anarchists as hyper-utopian, and they perceived them as more utopian the more they got to know them. I have to explain a few things about Demarchism for reasons of context and clarity. Demarchists hold the position that religiosity is a matter of orientation, just as in the terms of sexuality. Homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual... Just like somebody is born being uh, an orientation like that, someone being born and raised Catholic would never stop truly being Catholic because of the climate that they were raised in and, that, and what they were born into. The very first person to self-describe as a Demarchist was a gay Catholic atheist, and as much as this can sound like a contradiction, um, it isn't, because religiosity is not a matter of faith. The Lump in Third Worldist is a Christian agnostic and Dr. Weisfeld is a Jewish agnostic. There are many examples living today that I can point to as an example of religiosity. Religiosity is the culture around religion. I am an MLM, but I have very strong Demarchist leanings and Comrade Net is a Demarchist with very strong Maoist leanings. This is why we get along so well. Demarchists don't push for theocracy, but they respect the history of theocracy as ethical and much better than mo modernism. However, they aren't troglodytes. If they if they were, they wouldn't show such an intense opposition towards anarcho-primitivists. While they have grown closer to anarchism, they do not consider all forms of anarchism to be valid. They consider fascism and theocracy to be strictly incompatible, and they consider fascism to be a sort of ultra-secularism. They push for world transcendentalism over the ideas of secularism or theocracy. 
They reject Marxism and anarchism as lesser socialist ideology, ideologies on several grounds, but the primary ground is that they maintain that secularism and capitalism are the exact same thing. Democrats consider capitalism to be as much of a cultural system as it is an economic system. They consider communists, that is both Marxists and anarchists, to be in, incapable of maintaining socialism. On one hand, they credit and praise anarchists for their experiments, but they also mock anarchists for losing socialism within weeks. Uh, that is losing socialist economy before the CNT ever fell. They praise Marxists for being able to bring socialism to the world for a good deal of human history, but they mock Marxists for being unable to maintain their socialism. It is not easy to ignore the positions they hold, and whilst I'm not a democrat and disagree with various positions, like the idea that we are unable to maintain socialism, there are arguments that they have that I do believe need to be taken seriously. For instance, let's say you have a government based on religious codes. That by itself does not make it theocratic, which is sort of the middle line where world transcendentalism sits in. However, that's a separate topic. Democrats accuse communists, both Marxists and anarchists, have a dangerous binary and dualist view on most subjects. They maintain that secularism will always empower the middle classes, and they maintain that it leads to hedonism, which leads to predatory behaviour. This does not mean that Democrats view communists as predatory, but what it does mean is that they consider communists to be smarter than liberals, and to some extent even enduring. Yet Democrats consider communists to be nonetheless dogmatic systematically and unaware of their own colonialism, with the third world as being an exception. My counter to this would be the new African Maoist movements, uh, Panthers and stuff, as well as um, the liberation, as long as the ongoing people's war in the global south. Prototype figures to Democrats may have called themselves third positionists without understanding the weight of the term, or maybe feeling that the idea of a rejection of capitalism and communism was the only accurate description. There have been socialist revolutionaries who reject the term capitalism, yet can't stand the taste of the word communism. Many democrats cling to the term fourth positionist even more so. They are always waiting and wondering when the cultural blindness of communists will kill out the socialism that communists have and consider us just a matter of time to we degenerate into fascism in a lot of cases. Now, obviously, I disagree with this position. Democrats hate third positionism because it is evil. Democrats hate second positionism because it degenerates without them even knowing. This is their view. Fascists who use the term fourth position do so to disguise that they are fascists. So-called fourth positionists are nothing more than third positionists, just as Democrats say they are. Dugan's fourth position even says that it's fascist when you dive into the theory. The point of third positionists calling themselves fourth positionists is to make themselves mean, seem more compatible and friendly. So to conclude, there are a few ways to look at this. One way is that fourth, position is a, fourth positionism is a strictly democist position. Another way is that fourth positionism is just third positionism or that there is no fourth positionism and merely democrats are ashamed of communists and fascists and feel the need to disassociate with both. As far as I know, I have covered this topic in enough detail. If any of you want to read more democrats theory, I would recommend checking out NASA, Gaddafi or Dr. Weisfeld and um, read up comrades. And uh, I hope this video has been informative. See you.